I'm going to give you simple techniques of what you can do to become a better human being this year. I told you, come tonight, you learn how to shine. Elul, the four D's of lasting change. Number one, first D, don't do it alone. One of the principles of a person who goes to Alcoholics Anonymous or Gambling Anonymous is what's called the 12-step program. And guess what? In order for you to get out of gambling or out of alcohol overuse, they make you sit in a room with other people because they know you can't pull yourself out of the hole in the ground. Your friends have to be there. I handle a lot of shidduchim with people that are former alcoholics. I know all about it. They tell me, oh, I can't come and meet with you because I have a meeting on Monday with Alcoholics Anonymous. I have a 12-step program out of Shabbat or of Shabbos. I know what's going on here. But here's the lesson. Don't do it alone. Involve a friend. You want to learn a little bit more Torah but you don't trust yourself? Get a chavrusa. Have someone learn with you. You can do it on Zoom. You can do it on the phone. You can do it in a base medrash. Get someone to motivate you. Get someone to encourage you. Too many people make big resolutions out of Rosh Hashanah and never follow through because they don't have a support system. You need a support system. And that support system is your brother, your cousin, your best friend, your business acquaintance, your partner. But someone to hold you to the standard. Someone to hold your feet to the fire. And when you feel like you want to give up, you start learning and you're psyched up in October and now it's December and the weather's cold, you want to sleep a little bit more, January, snow, it's going to be your chavrusa or your friend that's going to keep you on task. So, number one, don't do it alone. Two, don't take on too much. Rebel Ezer Man Shach, who was one of the greatest of the Jewish leaders of the last 150 years, passed away in the early 2000s. I think he lived 106, 107. He was the Rosh Hashiva Panovich, the undisputed leader of the Haredi world of Israel. You know what he took on when he was 103 years old? This was his tenai for the coming year. I'm going to say Berchat Hamazon from a bencher, even though you know the whole thing by heart. And only for the first bracha. He didn't take on too much. Could he have done the whole Berchat Hamazon? Of course he could, in his sleep. Listen to the condition that he took on for himself for that year, that his New Year's resolution. This year, my resolution is to be a better person. I'm going to stop benching by heart. I'm going to use a sitter, but only for the first bracha. He didn't take on something that he felt he might not be able to do every day. So take on small little things. Too often we we'll become inspired to change. Oh, I went to the Shema Shas. Okay, that's it. I'm going to do Shema Shas. Maybe you're not ready for that. Maybe you're not ready to do Gemara every day. So take on something else. Maybe take a page a week. Or instead of Adaf, I'll do a side. You understand? Take on things that you can handle. Number three, Davin. Even the greatest ambitions will fail without God's help. So if you take on a New Year's resolution, ask Hashem to help you fulfill that resolution. Pray to God and ask Him to help you on what you should be working on. And He should give you the focus and the wisdom so you should be able to do what you want to do. And four, very important, don't fear failure. So what? You fall. Get up again. 